Hello everyone, can you believe it? Half the year is over. We are now in July. So I suppose it'd be a good point now to have a quick look back at what's happened in the first six months. Um, well, obviously the main thing has been interest rates have been continually going up since pretty much the back end of last year. And um, there was another rate increase there um, in the middle of the month by another quarter of a percent. The expectation again is there might be one more, possibly two, but again, by no more than a quarter percent. So it's not as drastic as had been happening previously, but still they're going in the wrong direction at this point. Um, so what would one have expected to have happened in the first six months with such a drastic rise in interest rates? Well, in truth, you would have expected the demand to have fallen. Unfortunately, or otherwise, that hasn't happened. Um, the demand... Uh, there was a report that came out by Forbes there during the week. Year on year, the demand is up 17% as in the number of approvals the bank have issued. Um, and in the first five months of this year alone, it has gone up by 11%. So the interest rates still have not affecting demand. It ties in what, what I've been experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis and what I've been sharing with yourselves is that the people out there still want to buy their homes. Um, and historically speaking, well, interest rates have risen really um, dramatically in the last eight months or so. Um, historically, they're actually quite at a normal rate. But it's if they continue to, to go up, that's when I think you may see the pinch at some point. But for the moment, the prices have not gone down. I'm still getting clients telling me about, um, how should I describe it, the, the, what I wouldn't have expected, basically, um, the bidding wars, people still bidding up properties and it still is definitely a seller's market at this moment in time. So that's where we are the first six months in. Um, my other bugbearer, Spank Service, is still not where it should be at. Um, it is getting slightly better, but I say that from a place of where I, um, I was basically, some banks, their service was at the point where I wouldn't even want it to um to put business their way but ultimately my role here is to make sure the client is getting all options available and the best options even if that means having to educate people as to how bad the service was at a particular point i do believe that's changing and i do believe with modern technology the at the we're at the point whereby in the next six to 12 months um, getting an approval from a bank should be a much easier process, but for the moment we just have to live with, with what we get, what we have and can continue to hope it gets better quicker. Um, one other point that I want to bring up at them on my kind of monthly um, overview, it's probably one that's not going to be relevant to everyone, but I've, I've come across it a few times in the last few months, so I just think it's worth bringing it to your attention. Um, a number of clients actually are not have second jobs. Um, while you might think that that would work in your favor, it actually isn't really. With the second job, A, the banks aren't actually taking that income into account. Their view on it would be that you can't keep two jobs for the life of a mortgage. So they're only really going to go with the um, the bigger, the, the, your more reliable job and the one that you've been doing for longer and obviously the one that you're, you're earning more money from. But the second part, and this is where it feels like they're really going against people. One of the things people need to do is basically prove an ability to repay. And people are, obviously that's done by the rent that you're paying and the savings that you are making on a monthly basis. But if your savings are coming from your second job, the basically the bank will actually um, dismiss that and it won't go towards um, proving to the bank that you could meet your mortgage. So if you do have a second job, you really need to think, well, how much am I saving because of that second job and discount that from the actual, um, your overview. So that is obviously something that we would look at and advise you on um, accordingly, but that's just something if you're still at this point in time to be keeping this in mind. So anyway, listen, let's hope the next six months are good for all of us. And then obviously if you have any other queries or questions, feel free to um, get in touch with me and hope to talk to you all soon. Bye for now.